Hi guys, so today we are doing a, another Halloween tutorial and the lighting looks like shit. That's better. Not really. Today I am going to be doing another Halloween tutorial um, and I was going to do this one on a voiceover but kind of didn't want to. Kind of just thought I would just sit down and kind of like talk you guys through it. Maybe that might be a bit easier. But today we are doing... I don't know what I'm going to call it. Obviously we'll have a title by now. So I am basing this look around nature and kind of like death and rotten and beaten up. Does that kind of like make sense? Probably not, but it's okay. We're going to do it anyways. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with primer and I'm going to be using the Smashbox primer oil. And then I'm just going to go in with some foundation. This one is by Outdoor Girl. It's like really pale. Oh. Well. I'm honestly not too worried about making this like a full coverage. I just wanted to have a little bit of coverage because my pimples are just I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer. Just cover up these eye bags and everything else. For now, I'm not going to bother doing my eyebrows because one of my eyebrows will possibly be covered. We're going to find out. I am just going to put a little bit of foundation or concealer over the top of this eyebrow just to make it a little bit more pale. So to cover up my eyebrow a bit more, I'm just going to go in with the Dermacol um, makeup cover. Um, this is like super full coverage. This is not to completely cover it, by the way. This is just to make it a little bit more pale. Does that make sense? Probably not. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in and set my face using the Airspun powder. I have honestly been filming for the shortest time and my desk looks disgusting. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do now is I am going to place some artificial petals from just a fake flower that I bought at the craft store and I'm going to place that around my eye and I'm going to be doing that with two different colors. So I have the purple and then I also whoop, also have like some orangey yellow colored ones and I have two different sizes so I am going to be layering them. Um, I cut up pretty much like all of the petals at first and then I was like well why don't I just cut a hole in it and then stick it around my eye. Just cut a hole in it and then stick it around your eye. Then you won't have to do individual petals like I'm about to do. So to stick this down, I'm just going to be using some eyelash glue. You can use liquid latex, you can use anything else that you have. So just take your time with this. Obviously the lash glue is not going to dry straight away. So just take your time. So I'm going to go in and start using the yellow and orange colors and I'm just going to kind of start placing them around. And then I will start going in with the smaller purple flowers after the big orange ones. And then I'm going to use the little orange ones after I use the little purple ones.
Okay, so I'm going to stop here with the flower because I've been working on this for way too long. I am going to pray this one up here stays on. And if it doesn't, I can't do much about it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use a brown eyeshadow on this side of my eye. And I'm just popping that all through my crease just to add a little bit of definition on this side. I am going to bring it a bit further out because I want this to look quite messy. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with like a shimmery orange shade. I'm just going to pop that all over as well. Just so this can be a little bit pretty. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so I also do want to black out my eye here. So I'm just going to go in with some black body paint and a really tiny brush and I'm just going to very carefully black out my eye. Now the black on my lid will start to separate and crease but I actually want that look because it will make it look a little bit yuckier. Okay, so to contour, I am just going to take a gray black kind of color and I'm just going to very gently start contouring a little bit. I love how I said a little bit. Now I'm also using this just to give me the appearance of a dirtier looking face as well as contouring. So kind of works out for both. So the next thing I'm now going to do is start creating some scars. So the scars are going to represent, I guess, maybe tree branches, brushing up against my face, cutting my face open and leaving scars and stuff like that. So to create this, you're going to need some rigid collodion and also some lip pencils. So today I'm going to be using like a pinky nude and also a red. And I'm going to use this underneath the rigid collodion to make it look a lot more realistic. So I'm just going to start with the nude one and I'm going to take this down my cheek like that and up and I'm just going to do some more on my forehead and then maybe one over here and then just with a little bit of the red you don't want to use too much I'm just going to gently go over the top of it I'm then just going to go in with the rigid collodion. So you are going to need quite a few layers of this to have a good effect. So just apply that, let each layer dry and then just pop it back over the top and keep going. Okay, so the rigid collodion is all ready to go. Hopefully you guys can see like the effect that it actually makes. I think it is so freaking cool. Okay, so now I'm just going to start making my face look a whole lot dirtier. So I'm going to go in with a bunch of these shades right here. And I'm just going to make my face look really dirty. I'm also just going to take some really dark green and use that to help kind of create better bruises and stuff like that. Okay, so that's me making myself look dirty AF. 
Um, and I've also just created some bruises on my neck. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some blood. So this is the fun part. So what I'm going to do for the blood is I'm going to use a stippling sponge. There it is. I'm going to use a stippling sponge and I'm just going to kind of stipple that all over. Okay, so what I'm going to be placing on this part of my face, oh my god, I just threw it, is a little piece of bark that I tried to make. It doesn't look the greatest, but it does actually look not that bad. But I am going to be sticking it onto my face to make it look like there's a piece of bark coming out of my face. And I'm going to be using liquid latex to stick that down and some cotton wool balls. I feel like I should have done the blood last. Probably. I'm just going to start kind of smoothing down the edges a little bit. And then I'm just going to start creating like a little dent in the middle. Some more latex. I'm gonna pop it down. I'm gonna get some more cotton wool ball. I'm just gonna kind of roll it up a little bit. And place it down. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is apply some fresh latex in here. I'm going to get the bar. I'm going to start gently placing it. I'm just going to get some black body paint and go around it just a little bit. I'm then just going to take some more blood and I'm just going to smother it all over the bark. I'm just going to grab my stippling sponge and stipple out the edges here. All right, so we're pretty much done for the face now. We are going to be adding a couple of little added extras to your hair or my hair. I'm so worried this is gonna fall off. Okay, so what I'm gonna be adding to my hair are some little flowers that I just put like some eyeshadow all over to make it seem like they're a lot dirtier. And then I'm also adding a whole bunch of feathers to my hair. With your flowers, if you can get like a wire stem, you'll find it a lot easier for them to go in. Okay guys, and that is the completed look. I, I look like a hot mess, like a hot mess, but you know what, I'm, I'm living for it. I think this is freaking awesome. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's Nature of the Dead, Nature Unleashed, whatever I am calling it video, it is, uh, it's different. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. 
But until next time, I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.